I thought the song was horrible, and I couldn't believe she thought she was gonna get a number one hit out of any of those songs. Sticker by NCT127, an enigma of a song. I've never seen so many people so aggressively divided since Captain America Civil War. Actually, since the actual Civil War. So you see, that's where the trouble began. That flute, that damn flute. <laughs> like a sticker, sticker. Huh. I think that's fine. I don't know. I just want this to be like a hey, we're just like talking about like, ever heard that song Sticker? How would you feel about the flute? You know? Ever heard that song Sticker? How would you feel about the flute? Hi. So, usually when I'm making these videos, they're about albums, right? They're about K-pop in general, the industry, a band. This is about a song, but the song isn't just a song. It's a song. Sticker is a song by NCT127. Here I go wanting to make a, like, Wikipedia sticker by NCT127 came out and blah blah blah. Now I know a lot of people would say the opposite, but I liked sticker when it first came out. I wanted to, I had, I was gonna print that on a shirt, but I just, whatever, got lazy. My first group I got into was Stray Kids, so it was like Stray Kids, and then it was NCT, and then it was BTS. I was going through my Spotify and seeing when I was adding songs. I think I became a citizen because of sticker. Like I have NCT songs added from years ago when I knew like Kick It. Like I have 90s Love, I have Raise the Roof on here. But like I think I really delve in and got into NCT 127 because of sticker. Obviously my viewpoint on sticker is very different than everybody else's viewpoint on sticker. Take a shot every time I say sticker. Don't do that. You will get alcohol poisoning. When I first heard sticker, I thought it was fucking great. Something about me, if there's a song with a flu in it, I'ma listen to it. I love a good flute in songs. I, I just, it's so fun. Go Go by BTS. Do, 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 do. Really trying to think back to when I first listened to it. Nothing about Sticker was off-putting to me. Cause I know, I remember. I'm like, oh, oh, I did not like that song when it first came out. I wanna see you dance, work it. That song, when I first listened to that song, I didn't, I didn't like that song. Now I love that song. Sticker, I thought it was fucking great. I thought the music video was sick as fuck. Come on, your culture, technology, sexy, and the future cowboys, that shit ate. So when I when I heard rumblings, not rumblings, a full-on fucking volcanic eruption of so many people disliking the song, I was confused. In K-pop, the stands, everything is heightened. So a song can be like, okay, it's not good, right? Or a lot of people think it's not good. But like, it's like, this song is awful. I don't understand how this song came out. Die. Like it's literally- That happened here. I was going through like comments to find to see the people that disliked Sticker and holy fuck. It was bad. Like the tweets I was seeing, we were, we were in the trenches. It's been a year, over a year since the song came out and now something I've noticed with this generation, if the previous generation didn't like it, didn't treat it well, for example, Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, Megan Fox, all of the, you know, with the movies and the shit and they were treated very bad in the early 2000s, it comes around and we get, to, we get our flowers, you know. Sticker. After a year, definitely now people are like, okay, you know what? It is good. I like it. It's good. A lot of the comments were about the flute. I think y'all were fucking over the fuck reacting. It's a fucking flute. I honestly think a lot of y'all, what music do y'all be listening? Y'all don't listen to different shit. Listen to a Timbaland song. Y'all gonna freak the fuck out. It was genuinely insane to me. People like getting that upset over a flute. It's a flute. It's not like, bro, two baddies. There, Two baddies and two baddies. There was a fucking a car horn. So I wanted to go through some of the comments. Here are the, some of the sticker comments I found. When people say only hot people like sticker, but most of NCT hated it. Both proud and embarrassed to be a sticker lover. He was telling himself, think about the bag, think about the bag, which is mad fucking funny. Me dancing the sticker like I wasn't an auntie when it came out. The flute doesn't really exist after you kind of force yourself to ignore it. I think it's like, it's definitely not a song I'll look up. If it's on shuffle, I won't skip it. I can't tell why people dis... I, can, I think she meant to say can. I can tell why people dislike it though. It's definitely not for everyone. I feel like subconsciously compare everything to Limitless because she really was that bitch. I also asked people about their opinions on Sticker on my TikTok. It's like when people hated on Pink Venom and now they like it, which 
there is a scientific reason behind that because I remember the first time I listened to Pink Venom, everything first, like first reaction, everything was great, but the chorus sounded empty as fuck. Now, bitch, this that Pink Venom, this very empty sounding and just out of place altogether. It took me some days to understand it, but it aged amazingly in my opinion. The more I listened to it, the more I thought it was genius. I love it. Somebody said they just don't like it, be literally just because of the flute. I don't have a reason. I just don't like it. Valid. The damn flute. <laughs> I think it is a bad song. However, I like it. Like it's messy and really weird, but it's so damn catchy. Roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up. I waited for you. I'm gonna be unboxing the sticker and see who we get. Are we enjoying the video so far? I don't know how it is. I know it's great though, but I didn't. This is the first thing I'm filming for this video. This is the soul version. Oh shit. Oh, it's so glossy. Whoa, look at the back. This like kind of goes with the, the vibe of the lights right now. This is cute as hell. You know what's good? I like um, I like everyone. Not almost everyone. I like everybody in NCT, but I obviously like my favorites are Johnny, Mark, Echan, Jaehyun, Taeyong, Yuta. I got to know their personalities even more. I, that's when I was like, okay, I love Hechan and Yuta. Beautiful voice, by the way. <gasps> I haven't met Johnny and told him how cool he is yet. It's just a man. No, it's not Johnny. Back to the video. Is sticker good? Wait till the end. Baby! As you can tell by my background, my two biases, my favorite K-pop groups of all time are Stray Kids and NCT 127. I'm listening to their music when I am listening to a new release for the first time. I know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting something different. Stray Kids, their critique, out of a lot of the fucking critiques they get, one of their critiques is the same critique that NCT 127 gets, that the music is noisy, to the point where fucking Stray Kids titled one of their releases Noisy slash No Easy. I'm expecting something different. I'm expecting something big. I'm expecting something bold. Like listening to Timbaland, which I I don't, I'm talking about him so much today. I'd recommend a lot of you to listen to Timbaland. When I'm listening to a Timbaland song, when I'm going into a Timbaland song that I've never heard of for the first time, I'm not expecting, I'm not going to name any other artist because you guys are going to fucking take it as a drag. I'm expecting something different. I'm expecting a instrument I've never heard before from a country I've never been to before. NCT and, and Stray Kids, both, they just make things that sound different. Scratch that ball! Yeah. We've seen the video, here it is. They looked like they were being tortured listening to Sticker for the first time. And I really would love, I will be asking them, what were their first thoughts on Sticker? Why did they have such a visceral reaction? Is it because it didn't sound like anything they've heard before? Or is it because of the vocals? Because I know at least one of them talked about how it it sounded like it was going to be a struggle, like a lot to sing. So I don't know if it was the vocals or I don't know if it was the song itself. Cause Taeyong was fucking Am I the only one that liked it? Like it's fine. So what's the conclusion of this video? All of this research I did, the amount of times I listened to Sticker, the effort and editing that I put into this video, I found out a lot of people hated the song and still do. A lot of people first liked the song when they heard it. A lot of people didn't like the song and now they like it. And that damn flute. So what did I figure out? Um, some people like some songs and others don't. So. <laughs> Actually, you know what the big conclusion is? Let's not be aggressively violent when you hear a song that you don't like. Like I previously mentioned earlier, everything is heightened with these K-pop fandoms and the amount of toxicity in it is scary and gross and I will be making another video completely delving into that alone. But I've seen like bad, really bad tweets <laughs> just over a song with a fucking flute in it, guys. Like, let's calm down. <clears throat> Go watch my sticker cover. I did it a while ago. Like a sticker. 
Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up.